Hi, I'm Tobin and welcome to AEMC, Australia's first electric motorcycle dealership. This is the 2021 Zero SRS Premium in cerulean blue. Like the SRF model we discussed in other videos, this bike has level two charging. It doesn't feature a six kilowatt additional charge tank, so there's just a storage space in here. Just like the SRF, this SRS has a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery. It's essentially exactly the same bike, it just has the sports fairing for that sports look. The Z-Force clutchless drive motor gives you about 200 kilometers of combined riding range, more like 160 kilometers on the highway, and you may even get up to 300 kilometers if you're riding it pretty slowly around the city. The SRS has the J1 brakes and the Showa suspension. It's actually just a really stunning bike. It's probably Zero's best looking bike. The SRS Premium features the upgraded TFT screen. Uh, it has the Bluetooth connectivity and a few more settings than the older model Zeros. One of the features I love about this bike is the lights. They've really done a good job in just creating really beautiful lighting around the bike. The SRS comes with uh, three seat heights like the SRF, so we've got the medium sized seat on there at the moment. You've got a lower, thinner seat for a smaller rider, shorter riders here. And then the third option is your higher seat. So you've got a bit more depth and thickness there. They're pretty easy to change. You just use the key to unlock this top section of the seat and then use an Allen key just to remove this section of the seat. This SRS Premium has two options for charging. You can do level two with a fast charger like this that we've got at the shop, or you can use a standard wall outlet with a type two connector on the end. The charging cable just inserts here, just behind the tank into a waterproof area. Once you've plugged it in, it locks. So nobody can just come and pull this out unless they have the keys to the ignition. Once you plug in the charging cable, you'll hear the onboard charger kicking in. That's controlling the temperature of the battery and the controller as the bike is charging. This SRS Premium can charge an additional six kilowatts an hour because of the charge tank that's built into the bike. This AC charger in our shop can charge up, up to 22 kilowatts per hour, depending on your connection to the grid. So it's only really limited by the onboard charger within the bike, which protects the battery and the other components so they don't overheat. At the moment, this bike has 74% charge and it's showing it's gonna take 32 minutes to fully charge it. If you're charging from home, you probably won't have a fast charger like this. So you can also just charge from a standard wall outlet here. These wall outlets usually max out at about 2.5 to 3 kilowatts per hour. So a bike this big is probably going to take you about seven or eight hours to fully charge. For most people, you're just going to want to charge this bike overnight and use it during the day. Um, so a slow charge is fine. But if you want to charge it quickly on the go, you're going to have to use an AC fast charger. As I said earlier, this bike does not have the additional second six kilowatt charge tank built into the top here. It has a storage space instead. If you were to put the charge tank in there, they retail for about $4,000 Australian um, and it will cut your charging time in half. So you'll charge this bike in just over an hour. I want to give a quick shout out to Sam and Jen at New Zealand who gave us this awesome t-shirt. They're doing a really good job of putting content out there about premium electric motorcycles. They've both got uh, an Energica Evo Rebels at the moment and uh, just we love their content so big up to them.